So we skip forward to many years later in 2012, and you, and I'm still only 21. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook happened. Yeah. Um, I was working on a radio show. Well, helping out on a radio show. Um, promotions and that kind of thing. Um, I've got the craziest bunch of friends. We were out every weekend. Um, photos flying around of all of, of you know all of us having mm -hmm. a good time. And I got a message one day from a guy with a really weird name. Um, he would like to take my photograph. And initially, I thought, Am I allowed to say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> initially, I thought it must be a pervert or an opportunist, or mm -hmm. he's blind, you know, <laughs> where's his guide dog? And um, he, he messaged me a couple of times, and he wasn't too much. And I was talking to Morgan one day, and Morgan said, well, why don't you give it a shot? Mm. So I went and met him, and we were both as scared as each other, and he had his camera with him, and when I got home, he sent me a couple of photos over on Facebook, and I was like, wow, is that me? And it was. And, and we started working together and, and we developed a really good working relationship, it took some great shots of me. I was too scared to work with anybody else because I thought they won't Photoshop me and <laughs> iron out the lines. Because yeah. I do have the lines, you know, it's hard to believe. Um, but yeah, and, and that's how it started, really. So this launched off, she's getting some offers, but... Was there a key event that you took place and then suddenly work started flying in or more interest suddenly started getting involved in you? Yeah. <laughs> what was the big, the big moment? The big moment was about, well, yeah, February last year. Hmm. I'd done, John had been working at a studio. John was the guy with the weird name. Um, he's his Polish name. Hmm. So He'd been working at a studio and I was meant to be doing a shoot at the studio. And I got up that morning, started to get ready, and I got a phone call from the studio, it's snowing. Shoots off, no one can get there. And, and funnily enough, it's literally five minutes from me. So I was a bit fed up. Anyway, I was at home, took the makeup off, sitting here in my dressing gown or leggings or whatever, talking to a friend on the phone who, in fact, is a photographer. Mm. And he said to me, oh, Debbie, I wish we lived closer. I'd love to shoot you in a bikini in the snow. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'd love to do that, that would be great. And he said, I dare you. <laughs> and you don't dare me to do anything. And I, I kind of put the phone down and I sat there for a little while and I thought, so the, the bikini selfie was born <laughs> in the snow. And then I sent it to him and he called me crazy and all sorts of funny names. Um, and I'd, I'd had a few problems with some people on Facebook. And he said to him, you know, I'd tell these people to basically stick it. Mm -hmm. He said, put the photo on Facebook. And I went, nah, shut up. And he went, oh, dare you. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I put it on Facebook and that was it. It, it just blew up, went absolutely mad. I, I think to this day I haven't had a photo that's gone so crazy. Mm. And, um, and then I started getting phone calls and, and messages from this photographer and that photographer. And yeah. There we go. So, in my opinion, Eric, Debbie, you're, you're proof that age isn't an issue when it's beauty. You see the amount of interest you've got coming through. Do you feel that you represent women that, yes, you are getting older, but doesn't mean you still aren't Okay, if you'd have said to me five years ago, I would be doing what I'm doing, I would have said to you, you're nuts. I don't see myself as beautiful. I think I'm photogenic now, I can accept that. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen how my life has turned around, especially in the last two years. Mm. And I don't think I'll ever be rich. I, I don't think I'll ever be famous. I don't think I want to be famous, but I'm happy. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of living the dream mm -hmm. now um, to the extent where I'm doing something that I never thought I'd be back doing that I loved so much. I mean, I have got regrets. I wish that maybe I'd kept at it all those years ago, but circumstances, mm -hmm. I didn't. And if it all finished tomorrow, at least I can say I've done it and I've been successful. 
So. So in this period, since the relaunch really of your career, mm -hmm. have you found that you've been getting more sort of magazine interviews, things like that, coming coming back at you? Yeah, I've had a couple of magazine interviews. Mm -hmm. um, I've had, I've done underwear shoots for um, like lingerie companies. Um, I've recently done a shoot where they wanted me to look like Dita Von Tees, oh, okay. and they've squeezed me right in. But it's a published shoot, it's mm -hmm. a paid shoot, and I haven't got the photos, so I really want to get them. I'm hoping yeah. when they do release it, I'll be able to get some. Um, yeah, at, at the moment, this year, it's more about something else, though, for me. So, what's going on this year? What's the, the big thing for you now? Well, I'm going to be 25 next year <laughs> for the second time now I'm going to be 50 next year and um, as a lot of people know four years ago I lost my nephew mm. to a heart problem we didn't know he had it um, and I said that I wanted to do something and I can't run the marathon mm. I really can't not with these things I'll be <laughs> knocking people out so mm. it was suggested that I try and do 50 shoots in a year um, was who made the suggestion? Was I'm it, not allowed to say. Was it? A, but was it another challenge here? Was it yes, another dare? It, was. <laughs> it wasn't a dare. It was a challenge. Mm. Um, yeah, was it a dare or a challenge? It, it was a challenge because the mm. next suggestion was, if I succeed, then to get fifty of the best shots and publish a book. Mm -hmm. And then that will all donations go towards the Heart Foundation. So, so yeah. Hmm. Is there a, a website or something people could go to and donate to to help raise money yes. for it at the moment? Yeah, they can go to if they go to Dancing Debbie Just Giving. Mm -hmm. It should come straight up. Yeah, and I think it does. I might have to check that. <laughs> yeah, I should, I, I, I'm pretty sure it does. But if not, they can find my model page on. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Dancing Debbie Model, D E B I, um, <laughs> and all the details are on there. So yeah, I mean I haven't got a huge target. I don't want to be greedy, but it's just to do something. I want to give <laughs> something back. Like two friends of mine had problems with their hearts, and they're both beautiful ladies, and you know they're, they're getting over it. And it could be any of us. Could yeah. be you know. So why not? Why not give something back?